First of all, no Konami. Making a Metal Gear game with zombies does not make me forgive you for canceling Silent Hills. I mean, what's this world coming to? Metal Gear is trying to be Resident Evil. Resident Evil is trying to be Silent Hill. God of War is trying to be every other third-person action game that's been released lately. This world's gone all topsy-turvy. What's next, a Super Mario FPS game? Or maybe Devil May Cry 5 is going to be a point-and-click game. <laughs> All joking aside, I was left in a daze when I watched this trailer. Part of me was trying to make sense of what just happened, then the other part of me just flipped the screw Konami switch and was readying a petition to shut them down. I pretty much take two issues with this game's existence. Issue number one, it's clearly a spin-off, which isn't automatically the problem, in fact, I figured they were either going to make spin-offs or just reboot the series after Kojima left. The problem is that it's a spin-off about a random MSF schmo who survived the events of Ground Zeroes. <laughs> who asked for this? Not only does that sound like a setup for a poor self-insert fanfiction, but I can think of at least four other spin-off concepts that I've heard of that I've heard other people ask for. 1. To a game about the boss and the Cobra unit. The boss is a series favorite that a lot of people love, and the Cobra unit didn't really get expanded upon that much during their time in MGS3. They showed up and they got killed, and the only thing we really knew is that they were comrades of the boss. Seeing that camaraderie develop throughout a spin-off about the boss and the Cobra unit would be cool. 2. Make a game starring Revolver Ocelot. I feel like this could be a f cool first-hand look into all the cloak-and-dagger, subterfuge, behind-the-scenes things that happen in the Metal Gear series that we're only really ever told about and we never see. Revolver Ocelot is usually at the center of all of that, so what better way to see all of this behind-the-scenes stuff than through his perspective? 3. Make a game where we play as Grey Fox. I don't care if it's by way of Revengeance 2 or some other game. I don't care if he's Noel, you know, his pre-cyborg ninja self, or post-cyborg ninja where he's just slicing people up. It doesn't matter to me. I want to play as Grey Fox. Just do that for me. 4. Assuming that Revengeance 2 wouldn't involve Grey Fox, we could just pick up on Raiden's story. They left that open-ended enough for a sequel. The second major problem I have with this game is that it doesn't have a re reason to be attached to Metal Gear. Besides the fact that this dude looks like a Metal Gear Online avatar, and Mother Base got dropped in the middle of the map, the dude seriously got sucked into a different dimension. Open the way to a new dimension. So that begs the question, why not just make it a new IP? If you really want to have a co-op survival zombie shooter similar to like Left 4 Dead or Dying Light, then just make it a new series. It would still look like a generic zombie co-op game, but making it a generic zombie co-op game attached to the Metal Gear name is just a lazy way of putting eyes on it. I mean, even the logo just looks like a bootlegged Dying Light logo. The point is, if Konami wants to make this co-op zombie survival game, then they should get eyes on it by making, doing something to set it apart from the plethora of other games in that genre and promote that, instead of attaching it to a series that it shouldn't be attached to. 
or if they sincerely wanted to make a Metal Gear spinoff, then they should have picked a story besides the adventures of a random MGO avatar. Anyway, I think I've said about all I have to say regarding Metal Gear Survive. Feel free to share what you think. Maybe you're feeling more optimistic about it than I am. Anyways, thank you for watching, and have yourself a pleasant evening.